Once you pass these gates, you're entering the town of Medina Bay. No alcohol and smoking is not permitted on its streets. Considered to be a holy place by those who visit here, this remote town, 200 kilometers from Senegal's capital Dakar, is a stronghold of Tijani Sufis. They have their roots in Algeria and Morocco and gained popularity during the anti-colonial struggle against the French. Medina Bay is now a place of spiritual pilgrimage for Sufis across Africa. And it's also attracted black American students to come and study at its school. Us African Americans, um, as a place or a safe haven for us to practice our religion um, and learn our religion. Um, also, it's also an invitation back home, giving us a piece of ourselves that, uh, we, that was lost or taken away from us. On the bottom of the period, During slavery, many of those enslaved came from West Africa. For some, there's a sense this has been a journey of return. When the plane landed, as soon as my feet hit the ground, I began to cry. This is the first time that I have ever been home. What made you cry? The fact that I was home after 500 year journey. The town and the Sufi order are significant for Senegal. Since independence, every president that's been elected has visited this small town. Every year, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims flock here. It's the beating heart of the spirituality in Senegal. Sheikh Mahi Sisse is responsible for Western students. He doesn't shy away from how influential the movement is and says Senegal's president, Macky Sale, is well aware of their importance. We are citizens, like other citizens, but we have this Medina, we have these followers that Macky Sala, he used to live here in Siam. So he know what is Medina, he know what's going on in Medina, he know that Medina is a part, very important part in Senegal. A, A. But for those who move here from the United States, it's a spiritual quest with its own challenges. Joy Fasson is from Atlanta, and she came here with her children. You know, the language barrier, and they were worried about making friends, missing some of the foods from home, getting used to the food here. But now they love it, they love the freedom. There's no doubt the Sufis are a social and political force here, where religion also plays a central role in people's lives. And although in other countries, religious influence may be considered a negative aspect, here, it's seen as a positive, even essential. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Medina Bay, Senegal.